hello everyone welcome back to the channel welcome back to align plans and today as you can tell by the title we are diving into another monthly favorites video so <clears throat> i thought that these are always kind of fun not only because it it kind of it, it gives us the opportunity to showcase like what's kind of new for the month but then we're also kind of looking at ways of utilizing what we currently have so that we can kind of find new ways of enjoying them so and please don't mind my voice like a couple of days ago i completely lost my voice so we're slowly returning back to reality back to normal Okay, um, this video is going to be broken down into a few different sections. So I have them broken down into pens, inks, accessories, and then planner or decor. So uh, I'm going to do my best to leave the timestamp in the description. So if you wanted to jump to a specific category, then you're welcome to do that. Also keep in mind that I will do my absolute best to link everything in the description of anything and everything that I can find links for. You will find a description, like you will find it in the description box. Okay, now that we've said description box a few times, let's move on. So the very first category that I wanted to talk about that was really working out well for me in the month of February, it, the first category we're gonna focus on is pens. So let me just move everything out of the way. And the only thing we're going to talk about right now is the different pens. And I will kind of go into detail as to which ones worked really well and why. So the pens that were really amazing for the month of February were the Kuwaiko Sport. Go figure. It's an oldie but a goodie. It, it has always been one of those really reliable pens. I have this in white and this is in a fine nib, in a brass nib, as you can tell. And honestly, I think that the reason why this was working out so well for the month was simply because any ink that I threw at it, it was just handling it with ease. I was kind of having a difficult time with certain pens and with certain inks in February or like late January moving into February. If you haven't seen a currently inked video for the month, it's because halfway through editing it, I kind of just chucked the footage. I will release a shorter version of that video, but honestly, uh, I was just not having fun with the inks that I loaded up in some of my pens for January. so. It was just kind of frustrating. So Kaweco definitely has saved the day. The other one that was doing really, really well right alongside that was actually the Sailor Yoseka collaboration. This is in a fine nib. I'm No, this is a medium fine actually. Let me just zoom you in. This is a medium fine and honestly, this is such a reliable fine nib pen. I'm calling it fine nib because it really writes, it does not write like a medium fine, it writes more like a fine or extra fine. If you have a sailor pen, you already kind of know. I enjoyed that in my um, Hobonichi weeks. I thoroughly enjoyed it actually in my Hibino planner, which we will talk about next in a moment. But for the month of February, I was just having such great writing sessions with it. It was just very reliable, very consistent. I was just showing you actually, because I think I just used it the other day. So this is how she writes. It's just, it's very fine, very precise. The ink flow is beautiful. So, I mean, I can't rave enough about this. Um, moving right after this as a close second, so the whole story with the Sailor Mizutama collaboration is this is a wonderful pen. This is also in medium fine. So same type of idea as what you get with the Yoseka collab, but it's different because we have to really watch what type of ink we kind of load in here. So what I mean by that is I loaded Joey from Lennon Toolbar in here. And I don't know, for some reason, the, the combo was just not working out for me. Right now I do have the ferris wheel uh, ferris wheel presses um spruce country post loaded in here and it just everything just glides it's just again i think i was actually using that in um yeah i have it in my um hobo weeks so as you can tell here's a nice little close-up this is all this is all mizutama it's this really beautiful darker green shade I don't really want to talk about the shade. I wanted to talk about the writing experience because that's ultimately what we care about. But as soon as I changed the ink in this pen, 
everything just seemed to flow just significantly differently. So I think that you have to really watch for what type of ink you load into which pen and how that writing experience kind of turns out. And last but not least, this was a surprise. And this, uh, in combination with the accessory that kind of goes with, this was a surprise for me. So this is a Uni One pen. This is in 0.5 thickness. Again, we all know and love Uni One. They are very reliable pens. I wasn't feeling this as like a writing instrument in most of my planners, simply because as soon as I would, and I will show you an example of this. I do have at least one one day when I was writing in here. And it's fine, like there's not, it's, it's such a personal preference more than anything else, but I did not have, so see what I mean? Like it looks fine. It looks great, very, very rich, very rich in in the ink deposit and how much is coming out. I had, have a hard time making this legible, first of all, but using this pen in my ring planner was working out really great and also a nice little unexpected surprise that I was not expecting at all is how well it actually works on these clear tabs. So the, you know how we have like this clear, almost uh, completely transparent or translucent tabs from cloth and paper. I know most of you have this, whether you have it as, as like these circles or you have them as like a page flags, whatever. The only, the only way that I found how I can write on this is through a marker. I couldn't actually find a pen that I could write with consistently until I started using the Uni One pen. And so beautiful. This has changed the, the game for me completely because now I feel like I can actually use up most of my, like those circled stickers and, and these clear um, washi tapes. I'm calling them washi tapes, whatever. These uh, clear sticky notes, I guess. Um, they just become a lot more accessible in the way and a lot more functional in the way that I can actually utilize them in my planner. And they now they begin to serve a much bigger purpose than the way that they were serving a purpose in my planner before. So absolute win, absolute winning combo. I would highly recommend it. Now let's talk about inks. Honestly, I'm going to keep it very, very simple and I will just show you um, all the swatches that I've done for the currently inked video. And again, I will release this in a shorter version for this month. But basically, if I'm looking at the lineup here, most of it is pilot colors, like almost all of it. So we have pilot Aisai, we have pilot Tsukiyo, which has been an absolute winner. We have pilot Murasaki Shikibu. It's this one, Pilot Air Shizuku Murasaki Shikibu. So these three to four colors, along with Spruce Country Post, of course, I have to include it. And right now I'm happy to include Lennon Toolbar's um, Joey in the lineup, but primarily I really, really, really have to give it to all the Pilot colors because it really made me realize how much I actually want to buy the full bottle in some of these colors. Like here's a larger swatch so you can take a look. Here's Aisai, here's Tsukiyo. I've swatched this multiple times. I've talked about this multiple times on this channel. They're absolutely stunning colors. And I really like that we weren't hippity hopping too, too much. Here's like a larger swatch um, layout of everything. But I mean, even in the larger swatch, like if you're looking at the first three colors, they're absolutely stunning. And they just give such a nice, beautiful writing experience. This is now when they're loaded in the, in the pens. And again, it just kind of created like this really nice transition when we're moving away from winter into spring. Um, as a color palette. It just made the writing experience very consistent, very reliable. I don't have to guess how long the ink will dry. So overall, I absolutely have to give it to Pilot um, Irishizuku Colors. And, and I'm kind of clunking them together as one whole because they have all been consistently a winner for the month of February. So moving on, let's talk a little bit. Oh, and then of course, um, Ferris wheel press, you already know the love is there. I've had that color for, for quite some time, but it's really nice when we're returning and we're kind of loading it into different pens because then you know what happens. The entire writing experience completely changes. 
Let's move on to accessories. I'm going to keep this fairly simple. What has been really working well for me is what was kind of working for me for a long time. These, again, I featured all three of these in my channel before, but it, it definitely is worth repeating. I'm going to go ahead and talk about this little scissor that has been just a game changer. I, I believe this I picked up through Muji. You can pick up something similar. I do have another one somewhere. I can't remember where I put it, but I do have another one in pink. I, I do have this version of this as well. This is not from Muji. Uh, who is this from? Rayme pen cut. It's fine. I thought that this would be the exact same thing as this. It, it really isn't. This one just kind of opens up and then you push this down and then it becomes like a scissor. I don't like that it doesn't have nearly the control and mechanism that this one does. Here you just kind of pull it down and then everything just is, sits on a spring. So that makes it very accessible. It takes up a tiny amount of space and you can Actually, I can attest to this that you can travel with this. It's a non-issue over customs. So I prefer this over this anytime. The other thing that has been still very much winning for me are these tiny little sticky notes from also from Muji. If I go back to the store in person, I will absolutely pick up more of these. I think I picked these up when I was in Barcelona, but I know that there is Muji stores in Toronto and I would love to get more of these for sure. I also have like their little page flags and they're okay, but this is by far my favorite thing. And I know that on TikTok, most of you ask me all the time, of where can I get this because this is what it does. It just fits perfectly into the little squares on the monthly in the Hobonichi weeks. So that's kind of why they're an absolute winner when it comes to pre-planning, when it comes to just making quick little notes. It just, it doesn't take up a ton of space and it you're not really limited by the type of pen that you can write on with. You can literally use any pens that you want. So for that reason, all of these are just they're just very effortless staples, which is kind of what I love about planner accessories, like make it easy for me to want to reach for you. You know what I mean? At least that's how I like to think about it. And the last category is going to be planner and decor. Now, as far as decor is concerned, I'm gonna just highlight, oh, I should also mention in, um, in accessories, I also want to kind of briefly just talk about the, um, this is the ruler also from Muji. And at first I was like, yeah, okay, whatever. Like, I don't know why it's so special. It, watch. It clicks. It clicks. And then it becomes like this nice long ruler. And then it just clicks together. Is that cool? So, I mean, you know, I'm having a moment with this. As far as planners and decor, let's talk about like just decor in general. So accessories, I already talked to you about this, which I've been really, really loving. Um, I've also had a moment with these. I believe these are from Swatelier. These are like just a little dot day um, stickers that have been really working for me. For some reason, I'm having a moment with clear decor stickers and it's just, it's working for me. And uh, same thing with this one. I'm really loving this. This is, I believe this is from Midori, but don't quote me on this. I will find I will find where I got this from. I believe I got this from Paper Plus Cloth and it's either Mindwave or Midori. I can't remember. Um, I love these and I have this in the dog. I think I also have this in, they have this in like Polar Bear. I also have like the little shopping one as well. But I believe that there's a there's a polar bear version of this as well. It's just like small little icons that is just super, super cute. Highly recommended. It's very good quality stickers, but they're small enough that it's not, I don't know. Like, I don't find that these are so juvenile that I feel uncomfortable adding it to my planner, which is something that I really love. And then for dot stickers, again, I am keep coming back to, I believe these are from Muzatama. Mizutama. I believe they are from Mizutama. Um, anytime I have the opportunity to buy more of this, this release, I will. Even though I do have the dots from 
um, Amazon. These are great as well as a fantastic alternative. I find that the colors just pop a little bit more here. And sometimes I do prefer like the sheet ones because they just become a little bit easier to just pop it into your planner. I really love the bright colors. And if you're doing any type of commonplace planning or journaling or just making notes in your commonplace book, then having like these brighter colors just makes everything kind of pop. So this one is from Swatelier and I believe these are from Mizutama. I would highly recommend both of them. The quality is fantastic. And for washi tapes and decor in general, I didn't really use a ton of like decor sheets, but I returned back to like just very basic like journaling type of stickers and washies. So this one is from uh, Emma, I think it's from Emma Journaler or Emma Stationery. I think I have to go back to that to, to have another haul just because I am running out of a few of the pieces that I bought from her. Basics, basics. I'm returning back to basics and I kind of made a commitment to really start using up a lot of my sticker sheets and things like that. And I'm happy to report that it has been going really well. Love just a basic neutral washi tape, a floral design. It has been popping up in, in most of my um, daily pages. And of course, this will, I don't think I will ever get sick of both of these. These are just like the cutest. And I mean, I have so many of um, like these stamps and the stickers. They're just very effortlessly cute without being childish, if that makes sense. So that's kind of why I love this. And I was heavily using this whole sticker sheet as well. As you can tell, I don't really have like a lot left. It looks like I have a lot, but really I kind of don't. I am kind of running out of this one. So my, my goal is to be able to just kind of use most of this up before I kind of move on and replace it with another roll similar to this of these die cut stickers. They have just been really working well and they just make like decorating my daily spreads very easy and effortless, which is why I love it. Now, as far as keeping things new and fresh and making sure that it's not boring, the last thing that I wanted to talk about before talking about planners is actually a sub box that I went into. This is from Modern, uh, Modern Journaler. And I mean, her boxes are just stunning. You get so much like paper, ephemera, things like that, um, alone standing stickers, full sticker sheets. I could do like a whole video just on what you get within a box. If you guys are interested, please let me know in the description because there's a lot to go through. But the things that I love are the matching washies. You also get rolls of washi as well. She doesn't send them in a roll. She sends them like in like a flat sheet, but like, look at that. And adding little elements like this that are themed up for you, along with like these long, these long die cut stickers, so stunning. And I mean, you will not use all of this up within a month. I guarantee it. Even if you're running multiple journals, multiple planners, it literally makes me feel like I can effortlessly use as much decor as I feel comfortable with without feeling limited. You know what I mean? Because sometimes like when you have like your favorite stickers and stuff, you want to use it very sparingly. And here I really don't feel that. I like, I mean, just it doesn't matter how many of these like plant stickers I use in my journal or in my planner. I, I still have more and, and it's, it's really cool. And then you also have like these little die cut stickers. You have trackers, photos, business, finances, gems, social media. Awesome. It's just it's so well thought out and it's well worth the investment. I would highly recommend it. Again, if you guys want to see like a full review of exactly what you get within a box, I'll just show you a couple of my spreads of how I've been using it. But to me, this is just so sophisticated. It, it very much matches my journaling and my, my planning style where I don't feel like I need to add too many like cutesy things. And I don't have that desire where I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to buy more. Although this month will be the first month that I will actually go and restock some of my stickers, but I don't have that deep desire of lack where I'm like, Ugh, it would be so nice. This is what she looks like within my weekly. 
stunning, right? Like just so simple, so elegant. Here's using the same kit last week, totally different look. Week before, totally different look. A week before, totally different look. Like you can you can achieve so many beautiful designs with it. Hopefully you can see it. Isn't that pretty? So, I mean, um, it has been a huge win for me. Here's how I planned out February. Again, like I can just do like beautiful layering and then it just, it matches exactly how I want it to look. Same thing in the Hibino. And I mean, let's talk about the Hibino planner for just a moment. In a separate video, we will do like a full like monthly flip, but you also receive, and this was the first time, again, I'm not a person that likes to attach anything into my planner. I don't know. I just, I feel weird about it. Let me see where I put it. I think this was the first one that I put in, this cut in. How stunning, right? I also did one for March, and this is the one for March. Very, very pretty, and it doesn't feel intrusive. It doesn't feel like it's too much. Let me zoom in. It just feels like it's just the right amount, but adding like the little pieces, it just made the daily spreads feel so nice and unique. And so here, here's that um, sticky note that I told you about. Is that cool? So I don't know, like it's just, it's just uh, allowing all of these little tools to like evolve, um, make my style evolve into what it's becoming right now from, from what it was, you know what I mean? And it's just like using these tools like in a totally different way. So that's kind of what I've been loving. Like as far as the Hibino is concerned, I've been enjoying it. I'm playing around right now with different layout ideas of what's working and what's not working, but I can make them really cute and colorful, which has been really fun. I can't believe like how much information I can load in here, which makes the actual planning and the journaling process significantly more fun for me. So I think that that's the main thing. That's like, that has been like my main takeaway for this month is that it just changed the way that I interact with this planner because I have to plan in there every day so between these two between the weeks and the habino the two together has been working out really really nicely i don't see it changing significantly um anytime soon but but if i do so if i do then then we will talk we will cross that bridge when we get there but as of right now things are things are working really well this is basically all I've kind of wanted to rhyme off. I would love to know what were like some of your favorite items that you you absolutely loved and you couldn't live without for the month of February. Please let me know in the comment section below. If you love videos like this, please let me know so I can make more of this for you. Uh, especially if you're finding it valuable, please like just keep me posted because it just made like I would love to film more videos like this of what worked, what didn't work, and it just takes you know, it allows me to kind of reflect on my own journey of like what's actually working and how I would like to pivot moving forward. But this is all I got for you. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. If you did, you can support the channel by subscribing and obviously just hang out here. It means the world. And yeah, that's all I got for you. So have a wonderful one and I cannot wait to see you guys in my next video.